Because there will be there will there will be adversity because there, there because, because there will be a breaking down and a building up of the spirit. Uh huh. <clears throat> well. But in verse but in verses ten and eleven, God says, "I know the plans I have for you." Uh huh. God saying, "Just trust me. I got this." But at times we do get weird. Now, can, can we keep it? Can I be real? At times we do get weird. At times you wonder, God, are you really? At times you wonder, God, do you hear me? At times you wonder, God, what, what am I even praying for? You say pray to, you say pray to, but it don't seem like you're listening. But I tell you, keep pressing towards the mark. But at times, at times we do get weird. I encourage you to, I encourage you to be blind and deaf. And be, and be deaf to things that are not of God. Because they will throw you off track. You will have discouragements, and you will have people around you that know all when they don't know nothing. <laughs> in, verses, in verses 8 and 9, God said, Do not let your prophets, your diviners who are in your midst deceive you, nor listen to your dreams which you have caused to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely in my name. I have not sent them. So I said again, Do not listen to the ones who know it all and don't know nothing. Seek ye first. Seek him for all that you need, well, all that you desire, and all that you wonder. Yeah. I heard a small testimony. Uh -huh. Now I sit home and I read my word. I do. But when I first got into this thing, I had simple questions like, and God answered every single last one of them. Every, when I say every single last one of them, every single last one of them. And I said when I first got into this thing. So I didn't, I, I didn't know what it was to hear from God, but he made it plain for me, and that just showed me that he really wanted me. Come on. My God, my God. He really wanted me. God is love. I remember I sat on my couch one day, and I'm, I'm sitting there reading my word, and I'm, I'm listening to a sermon on this, and um, I'm like, they talked about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and I'm like, God. Okay, the Father, Son, I believe anything your words say, I do, but I, I don't, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is only one God. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. And he put it plain as day, the Trinity. And that just goes to show that God does care about us. And God will meet you where you are. Yes, he will. And he will bring you where he wants you to be. Yes, he will. And I said, seek him for all that you need and all that you desire and all that you wonder. Yes. So in verses 12 and 14, he says, Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Well. He said, don't be halfway in this thing. Well. Oh. But I tell you, be encouraged, because in this, in this in his captivity, you will find prosperity and abundance of life. For he says in, in, in this text that I just read, verses from verses five to seven, build houses and dwell in them, plant gardens and eat their fruit. Take wives and beg your sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons and keep your daughters and husbands, so that they may bear you life, in order that you may increase here and not diminish. He said, get comfortable, baby. <laughs> Get comfortable because in my captivity there will be prosperity and abundance of life. For he promises these things. And he is a man that cannot lie. I said he is a man that cannot lie. You got a friend, oh baby, he can lie. You got a boyfriend, oh, and he can lie. And a girl, oh, she can lie too. But we serve a God that cannot lie. So I tell you and I encourage you to stand on his word. He is the perfect man that cannot lie. He promises that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. And with him we cannot lose. So I encourage you to stick by him because he is sticking by you. Amen. Amen. He promises that Amen. if you wait upon him, if you wait upon him in your times of adversity, he will renew your strength. That's the promise. He said, I shall renew your strength. I said, he said, I shall renew your strength. That's the promise. But I'm going to be honest with you. But God, but we 
Because he is a man that cannot lie. He said he will never leave us from a sickness. And if he said he will renew my strength when I'm feeling weak, I'm going to him to get strong, baby. And that's the way.